At the still tender age of 24, All Black Charles Piertal has an impressive CV. But the winger recently made the bold decision to put his international career on hold and experience Northern Hemisphere rugby. It's been awesome, a lot colder to start off with <laughs> than back in the Southern Hemisphere. But, um, you know, I think the rugby and the quality that I've seen in players here have been great and, you know, almost the same to back at home. The style of rugby, um, considering the weather, plays a big factor here and so there's a lot more kicking. But on a dry day, um, you know, it's, it's a lot similar and a lot of running rugby, exciting rugby as well, just like the Southern uh, Hemisphere. Obviously family, me being away from family, you know, is, is, a, is a different experience as well and you miss them. Other than that, uh, it's, it's nice to experience new things and the things that they have on, on this side of the world. There was one familiar face waiting for him in London. Former Auckland and New Zealand teammate Frank Halai had also signed for Wasps. I think having familiar faces um, has really helped my transition. Obviously, you know, Frank, I've, I've been, I've known and, and played with him for a while, but also other guys like Silosi, who I know, and Nathan Hughes, who was in New Zealand, that I played with as well. Those little things have, have definitely helped me transition and uh, know, know, already know some guys in the team and get to know the other guys. So. <laughs> It was after missing out on selection for last year's World Cup that Piertau decided he needed a new challenge. I spoke with, with Dai before coming in and I guess the way he explained where he wanted the club to go to and, and the environment that they had here really attracted me. I think, you know, they have been a club that is, is always good enough to take out the competition but, you know, they've maybe fallen short a few times and I know it's history in the past where, you know, it's glory days and so for me that's, that's something that I love to be a part of and to be able to take this club back to where, um, where it can be and where it should be. So I think that was one. Um, being able to be in London as well was, was, was pretty ideal for me. But I, I guess also the, the coaching staff, um, you know, being able to be in a place where you can continue to grow as a player, as a rugby player. There's certain skills that I've had to focus more on, like, you know, the kicking and the high ball and, and different things like that, where back at home you won't really kick as much or, you know, depending on the teams. but. You know, I felt like just certain schools I've had to focus on uh, a bit more than, than what I uh, have done in, in the past. I played against uh, Christian Wade and, and Elliot and Joe Launchbury and, and Sam Jones, I think, in uh, under 20. So it's, it's nice now to be teammates and get to know them a bit more and, um, you know, see some of the talented guys here. While I'm here in the uh, Northern Hemisphere, I really want to, I guess, improve my game learn the style here and, and I think can add to what I've already learned um, from the Southern Hemisphere. And I feel if I'm able to kind of combine these different skills and attributes, um, it'll make me a better rugby player. And also, I guess, just, um, you know, there's still a World Cup lingering around that I'd love to, to tick off. Um, so maybe uh, when that gets near, I'll probably try to have another crack.